Welcome to another good e-reader exclusive video. This is Marcus and today we're at Computex 2011 in Taipei, Taiwan and we're at the booth of one of our favorite companies, Pixel Chi, and we're going to be touring their booth uh, with some of their senior executives and they're going to give us uh, the hands-on with all of their new screen technology. What's interesting about this is um, that it has touch. It's got actually has infrared touch infrared touch so there's no cover glass on it and so particularly for uh, screens like ours where we really worry about we fight for the best optical properties there's nothing between the viewer and the screen so despite that uh, let's see I can never that the interface on this is so. Is it reading uh, vertical and horizontal coordinates with your finger, I guess, or actually, infrared? yeah, you can start with yeah, that as the basic idea. Right. Uh, that it, in fact, so it's Android. Yeah, it's an Android tablet. Um, I'm just trying to remember wh where they've hidden everything here, <laughs> probably. Wow. So I can now turn the backlight off. Oh <laughs> my gosh! So they actually created their own little skin on this. Yeah. Um, and. Okay. Oh, yeah. yes. oh, you have backlight on. Let me turn this one off. Then. All right, there you go. Oops. Let's do settings. Yeah. Display brightness. It's all the way down. It's not perfectly off, but it's the low. Do you have it at the highest setting? Who knows? Uh, I do. There. Just uh, all you do. Settings. Display. display. Brightness. Yeah, okay. Get all the way down. Right, okay. so this one's all the way up. So I can just... Try. 3 million units using this technology already. So we're kind of the fastest ramping technology that, that, um, that, 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 that that's on record. I mean, going from in over the last four years and shipping 3 million units is faster than any other new display technology has achieved. So we're bringing on our our second fab into mass production and selecting our third fab now and the reason we're able to do that it's such it's such a, a fast clip is because we're the first fabless lcd design house a lot like what we're doing is a lot like what happened in chip design 25 years ago where the chip fabs existed and companies like NVIDIA and Xilinx and AMD started making innovative chips that they could send to the fab and back came innovative chips. We're doing that with LCD because the cost of, of LCD sort of assembly and, and mass production is it's really low cost, but we can innovate if we understand those, those manufacturing processes really well to products that can actually yield and ship rather than like OLED was invented 30 years ago. Yeah. Electrophoretic, that technology in ink, 30 years ago, it took that long. Yeah. And I just, we want to ship stuff well before we die. <laughs> uh, this is also a 10 inch screen, but unlike the 10 inch screen that we showed you at CES, this is actually Android format. So it's oh. 12, 1280 by 800. Yeah. And you may also notice something else, that is a thin screen. Remember, this includes the backlight. Look at that. So this is actually, as I say, this 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 is intended for you know, Android 3.0 tablets. Super high. It's got a lovely resolution. Has the same sunlight readability as the ones you saw outside. Right. And so now, now you can see why we're interested in the IR touch. Look at that. I mean, it's yeah. just like. Now you just add basically a certain look, the, the motherboard and battery and you start thinking about the form factor for a tablet. It doesn't need to be more than about twice this. It really could be enough juice to power the whole device. A bit like a calculator, right? Yeah. It uses a small portion of this. You put it in the light and you can use a calculator. Exactly. Why not do that with a tablet? Why not skip? skip the battery altogether. We're nearly there, right? Yeah. We're nearly there in terms of power. This outside, inside, it, it creates less juice, but we're not that far away from being able to do it well, today outside, and tomorrow can we do it with just room light. Well, and it this, this, is, this is one watt, and this is one watt. So imagine just putting a solar panel around the bezel to power it. 
it seems but the natural evolution of your company to do something like that too. You know, screens that were designed to function in pure sunlight, and why not draw power off also, of that at the same time? Yeah, these are the new higher efficiencies, but you'd think they're expensive. I bought this online for $3. Huh? So and if you wanted to buy a ton of them, the price would just go way low down, down exponentially. Exactly. It's not, it's not really that expensive. So. It's, it's, it's pretty interesting what can happen. And we've shipped a lot of them in, in this unit to enabling a very, very low power laptop, a one watt laptop. What's generally the cost per unit? Pardon? What's generally the cost per unit? $100. It's, it's actually never, it hasn't hit $100. It's about $150 yeah. right now for the whole unit. But every child in Uruguay has one of these. About half the kids in Peru. Um, large deployments in Afghanistan, Rwanda, and kind of 30 other countries with smaller penetration. It's beautiful. Hmm.